Right, so obviously the entire internet is going crazy over ProRes Log on the iPhone 15 Pro, and I think rightfully so. It looks damn good. And truthfully, I don't actually have anything bad to say about it. I think this is a great implementation of a log profile in a camera. And the fact that this is in an iPhone just continues to boggle my mind. And these tests that I'm doing, like honestly, it's mostly out of curiosity. I don't think I'm actually gonna be using ProRes Log all that much. I just find a little bit of a cumbersome process. I don't wanna attach an external SSD or an SD card. I just, it's, for me, it's just not my way of using a phone. If I'm using a phone, I want it stripped down. I want nothing on it. I don't wanna to have to grade it later. I kinda of just wanna use it. That being said, if I'm gonna use it in something professional like I did in my iPhone 15 Pro versus cinema camera video, if I'm gonna be doing a vertical angle or something like that for a client, sure, I'll use ProRes Log. But for everyday shooting and probably even filmmaking type stuff where I'm just doing behind the scenes, I'm not gonna bother with ProRes Log. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that this is their only camera. And so if this is your only camera, sure. Like if you wanna make a movie, if you wanna do anything cinematic, sure, use ProRes Log. And so this test should help you understand a little bit better of what you can do with ProRes Log. I'm gonna give you my number one tip from what I've learned with this log profile, and it's the complete opposite of any other log profile I have ever used. You're gonna to wanna to underexpose your footage. And I know that's crazy, because typically we would talk about ETTR, which is exposed to the right, which means you know, you're know you gonna overexpose a little bit to save your shadows. Whereas I find with the phone, because it's so noisy and low light, you'd rather just get rid of those shadows entirely and bring them up just slightly. You might have to do a little bit of noise reduction, but generally speaking, to save the highlights and to get less noise in the shadows, you're gonna wanna just shoot it underexposed, because as soon as you expose this thing at middle or even just a little bit high, the phone wants to crank the ISO and it just looks like dog shit. Everything I shot in that low light stuff and even the stuff right now that I'm shooting, cause I'm shooting this on the 15 Pro, I'm under about minus two EV. In my testing, this just seems to give you the richest version of this look coming out of this phone. I think it gives you right contrast ratios and most importantly, it's just a clean image. Now, the one thing I'll mention, you'll see in my Rec 709 examples, it looks very, very dark. But once you get into the grading, you start pushing this a little bit, there's enough latitude in there to get the image where you want it to be. Another quick tip, there's no view log assist on the 15 Pro and Pro Max. So essentially when you're shooting, you really can't gauge your exposure just right. So what I like to do is just quickly toggle log off and you're gonna see like an H.265 or regular ProRes preview of what the iPhone's actually capture. And I find that it's really close to what you end up seeing when you import this stuff into your editor. Now, once you get into your editor, I'm using Resolve and Final Cut. Final Cut, you can just apply the Apple log LUT in the inspector and you're gonna get to a Rec. 709 base. This is where you wanna start color grading from. And Resolve, same thing, you're just gonna set your input gamma. I suggest actually doing a color space transform if you want. So what I did was I went from Apple log to RE log C and then I use Filmbox to do all my color grading. If you haven't seen my video on Filmbox, there's a video on my main channel all about it. I'll warn you, it's not cheap, but this is how I do the film look, the color, and this emulation of halation and grain and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, if you just want a quick turnkey sort of solution, I have a LUT in the description that you can check out. This is like the PT iPhone film LUT. It's gonna give you a celluloid type look, but don't expect grain, don't expect halation. I'm getting all of that from Filmbox. This is just me doing an approximation of the color that I like coming out of this phone, again, all meant to be underexposed, about a stop to two stops, 
If you're using Apple Log, that's how I've made this LUT. So if you slap it on something that's around middle or overexposed, it's probably gonna look really mucked up. So go under, expose minus two, minus 1.7, and this stuff should look quite good. But overall, it's amazing that we have this capability in this phone. I think it looks really good. And even in low light, if you're underexposing a bit, you're gonna get clean shadows, looks awesome. For a phone, this is absolutely ridiculous. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. If you have any questions about ProRes Log or the 15 Pro, let me know and we'll see if we'll make some more videos. But I think that's it for this video. My name is Patrick and you will see or hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.